What's happening? My name is Chef Gio. We're from Bella Restaurant in Butterville, Rhode Island, located on the piazza today. We're going to be featuring two dishes today. A fresh watermelon Napoleon and a salmon Midori. All right, let's get started. So to get started, we have some fresh watermelon, which is here. We're going to place it on the center of the plate. I sauteed up some fresh spinach with some salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic. So we have the watermelon as the base. We're just going to give the, the spinach a little bit of squeeze, get all the juice out of there. We're going to put it right on top. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. Then we have some fresh parma prosciutto. We're going to put two slices right over the top. It's a nice summer dish. And then we have some in-house made fresh mozzarella. We're going to put this right on top. We're featuring this tonight at the restaurant. As you can see, a little Napoleon. And then we're going to top it with two Two little sauces here. We have a sriracha sauce, which is a Japanese chili sauce. And we have an aged balsamic reduction. Just gonna put a little bit on each, just like that. And this is Bella Restaurants Watermelon Napoleon. Gosh, with a little bit of field greens, or parsley, or mayo, whatever you like. There you are. Enjoy. All right, welcome back. Now we're doing the salmon midori. What we have here is <clears throat> fresh wild salmon, a little bit of Cajun spice. I put a little bit of oil in the pan. As you can see, it's smoking. We're gonna put it in. Sear it. This is a nice piece of salmon, so we're going to sear it on both sides, finish it in the oven, and we're going to plate it with some nice fresh grilled vegetables. Finish it with a Midori melon butter sauce. This is on our seasonal menu. Very nice light dish, very popular dish. Alright, on the other side we're going to start to make the Midori melon butter. Get the pan nice and hot. A little butter, a little cream. A little bit of Midori. All right, there we go. The pan's super hot. Be careful. that reduce while the salmon's cooking. We're gonna make sure all the alcohol burns out here, that way it's nice and sweet. Sear on the salmon, and like I said, we're going to finish it in the oven. All right, we're going to go finish this in the oven. All right, so now we have some fresh grilled vegetables zucchini, eggplant. Another piece of zucchini, eggplant, there's some beautiful grilled asparagus, and some Bermuda onions. Now the salmon is cooked all the way through, so we're going to place it right nice on top, 
sauce is done. And a little bit of green action. Fresh salmon, Cajun seared, the Midori melon butter, and grilled vegetables. All right, so for the last dish, we have a nice seasonal dessert. We have some butter. I'm gonna cook the butter with some brown sugar. Fresh local berries, strawberries, and some raspberries. Just gonna put that all together, let the brown sugar cook. Soften up the fruit, just a touch. We're gonna add some Maya's rum. Be careful with this one. Again, let the alcohol burn out so it'll be nice and sweet. Alright, then we're going to add some fresh orange juice just to loosen it up a touch. Mix it all up. Beautiful, nice light dish. All the dishes we did today are seasonal off our seasonal menu. Nice for the summer, nice and light, fresh, not too heavy. Enjoy with a nice glass of wine. We'll come down to the restaurant and we'll prepare for you. On the plate, we have some fresh whipped cream. Got this just mint from our garden. And the raspberry and strawberry uh, flambe with a little bit of Maya's rum and butter served with uh, vanilla ice cream. Enjoy and look for our next uh, recipe edition.